morning, everyone. This is a car show on Eastern, hosted by Seventy Cars. Today, Ron brought this Packard, one of the six that he owns in uh, uh, Nevada. So um, let's talk about where you originally found this car. Yeah, Palm Springs, California. Mm. Uh, I've had it for one year. Mm -hmm. I bought it from a state that gentleman's father passed away. He owned it since 1969. Ooh, and this car is from 37. So he was the original uh, no, no, owner? No, he was the second owner. Mm -hmm. He had it since 1969. Mm. What was the condition when you found the car? Uh, same as it is now. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, you must know a lot about Parker, like inside out if you own six. Yes. Yeah. So why did you pick this particular car? Uh, this is a V12. They only made 26 of them. There's only six left. So it's a V12. It's a phenomenal car. It does 70 oh. miles an hour all day long. Wow. Uh, it's just a good car to drive. Yeah. You know, on highway speeds, everything else. Wow. Is there anything specific that, because it's Parker, that you have to pay attention to when you maintain and no, drive? No, very basic, 1937. Uh, radio and heat works. The radio works, 80-year-old radio, which is oh phenomenal. I wish I could just turn on the radio and then listen to 30s music. That would be yeah. really, really nice. Very nice. Yeah. So what's the um, name of this particular paint? Do you know? It's a uh, Packard maroon, uh -huh. and then it's got original interior. Mm -hmm. That's a gray interior. It's been repainted in 1990. So it's been painted once, and the original interior of the car is still there. So right here, we are looking at the um, engine bay, and the uh, exhaust manifold is sitting on top of the engine. Why is that? I've never seen well, it. Well, it's not an overhead cam motor. It's a flathead motor. So Packard put the exhaust and the intake on top of each other to save room. So it's very unique. Wow. Wow. Well, let's talk about the interior. You talk, You said um, something gray? Yeah, gray. Yeah. yeah, gray cloth, but original from 80 years ago. Mm. It's never been redone. Wow. Wow. It's like a moving museum. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Functional fine art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, since you know so much about uh, Packard, let's talk about anyone who might be possibly interested in purchasing one, what to look for. Uh, the condition, uh, most of these cars have never been taken apart. Uh, this one's never been taken apart other than it had been painted in 1990. Uh, but it's uh, basically look for a good car that's never been molested mm. and taken apart. Mm. So is there any like a secret uh, court that you look for? Like any uh, parts? I no, don't know. No, no, no. These cars were never really, uh, you know, they were never molested, with, molested during that whole time. Uh, like other Chevrolets and Corvettes had different motors put in them, yeah. where these cars mm -hmm. never had that situation at all. Mm. Do you know the body back then in the 30s? Yeah, this was $5,200 in 1937, where a house was $2,000 and a car was $450. And they didn't have financing back then, so the person who bought this in 1937 had a lot of money to pay $5,200 for this car. That was during the Depression as well. Wow, I need to sit down and hearing all the story. Yeah, it was originally sold in St. Louis, and they think it might be the Bush family, but I, I can't track it back that far at the moment. But it might be the Bush, like Anheuser Bush, mm -hmm. the, the the beer people. Wow, wow, I'm really speechless looking at this. Mm. Yeah, but the very very few cars. I mean, like these other cars, you know, Corvettes they made ten thousand a year. This they made twenty six. Uh -huh. So a whole different category than a you know a Corvette or mass-produced car. Mm. Well, you got the really good outfit going on, the Packard shirt, the Packard hat. Is there any club in Las Vegas? Uh, no, we're the Packard Club International, which is out of California. We have nine people that belong to that here in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And there's another Packard Club of America that's in Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a member of that as well for back east. Mm. What do you guys do as a uh, club member? Uh, just go to different shows. Yeah. Uh, we're going at 1130. We're going to Phil Maloof's Museum here in Vegas. They have 100 75 cars so we're going there today so I, I gotta get myself moving a little bit sooner here yeah sounds fun thank you so much for showing this beautiful unique car okay thank you